comrades, the Kofi family, on behalf of the 33 Corinthian Sovereignty Movement, I welcome you all here today to commemorate the 45th anniversary of the death of Ogla, Patsy Duffy. We'll begin today's proceedings by lowering our national flag and I call on Keir Jarnock to play a lament in memory of all those who made the supreme sacrifice in pursuit of Irish freedom. We will now you have a laying of wreaths and floral tributes. Family of Patsy Duffy. The 32 County Assembly Movement. Republican Sean Fein. Junior McDade House. Any other floor trumpets? We would like to enter just Martin Rafferty of the 13th County Sovereignty Movement, who will give today's main oration. It would be remiss of any Irish Republican stand in the grave sites of our, our memorials of our patriot dead, not to, not to relate the plight and the suffering of the Palestinian people as they fight for their very survival and the struggle to the end of the ongoing violation of their national sovereignty. The parallels between our struggles are stark, both in their 
historic origins and nature and the current and deeply flawed approach to their political and constitutional resolution. We too have faced attempted genocide at the hands of our occupier. We too have faced the, the ethnic cleansing of our lands to make way for settlers. In those dark days in our history, other colonised peoples from around the world reached out to help us. Ireland, like Palestine, is occupied. The partition of Ireland was a two-state solution imposed by the British under the threat of immediate and terrible war. It hasn't worked. It can't work. Because at its core is a fundamental denial of sovereignty and democratic rights to each generation of it since has been, it has imposed until the struggle was relentless to the end. The Israeli state was founded to serve the strategic self-interest of the so-called United Kingdom and the United States of America. It had nothing to do with the safe homelands of the victimized peoples at that time in Europe. Those self-interests found a useful vehicle in the form of Zionism and they have funded, armed and given political cover to its deliberate aim of destroying the Palestinian nation and its people. What the world witnessed on October the 7th was a prison revolt by the imprisoned people of Gaza. What the right wing wailing of the Western powers would have us believe was that on October the 7th was an unprovoked attack on a benign Israel. As a, genus, as a genocidal slaughter continues to civilize pop, civilis, this, the civilian population of Gaza, these so-called so champions of democracy cannot even bring themselves to call for a permanent ceasefire, as the death toll reaches past 14,800 people, including 6,150 children. And that's not taken into account the many thousands still buried, some alive, under the rubble of their own homes that have been destroyed by the Zionists using US and British bombs. The grotesque and almost farcical attempts by the Israeli Defence Forces to plant munitions at hospitals to justify their bombing of sick and injured people are reminiscent of the British Army's efforts to betray the innocent victims of Bloody Sunday as gunmen and bombers, or the murder of unarmed volunteer Patsy Duffy, who we are gathered here today to commemorate, by the heavily armed British forces. Patsy's family and friends, like so many others here, have been denied the truth of what happened to their loved one on that day in 1978, and we support them in their fight to get truth and justice for Patsy. Irish Republicans must stand firm with the people of Palestine. We must reject the quizzling stance of the Irish politicians who, sp who speak and act through both sides of their mouths. Irish Republicans must engage with and become part of Palestinian sorry, groups both here in Ireland and abroad to drive home the urgent lessons of solidarity. Conflicts are not resolved by peace accords such as the Good Friday Agreement or the Oslo Accord. They are resolved when the national sovereignty is recognised and respected and given back to the rightful countries. We say to our Palestinian friends, do not listen to so-called Irish Republicans who urge them to learn from our so-called peace process. As a result of their slavish engagement with the British government, the partition of Ireland has become sanitised in the eyes of an upcoming generation. This will be your fate also if you choose to pursue the two-state solution. The Good Friday Agreement served British interests just as the Oslo Accord served the interests of Israel and their imperialist backers. Irish Republicans choose the correct route by declaring our right to national sovereignty and international law before the United Nations. We urge our Palestinian brothers and sisters to do likewise and make their stance the first and final position in any, any negotiations in the future of their country. Like volunteer Patsy Duffy, whom we honour here today, we urge Republicans to action. The cause of Ireland is the cause of Palestine, and the cause of both is the restoration of our mutual natural sovereignties. Burbia. To bring today's proceedings to a close, I invite King Carlin to finish off our own event. And again, thank each and every one of you who attended today's commemoration. Good morning,